What's up, Nighthawks? Today is Thursday, April 26. I'm Claire. And I'm Justin. On today's broadcast, we'll be learning a little more about Coach Coleman, getting a Garden Club highlight, and watching some trivia. Your, Your broadcast, broadcast starts, starts now. now. Let's start off with some announcements. Be sure to come out and see Nighthawks Theater's spring play of I Hate Shakespeare. Performances are on Thursday and Friday, May 3rd and 4th, starting at 7 p.m. The show is extremely funny and should be an amazing experience to be a part of. Hope to see you all there. Do you have a cool talent? Come audition for Nelson's second annual show on May 10th and 11th. The sign-up sheet is on the choir call board in the Fine Arts Wing. Don't forget, you must come prepared to, to the audition and show us your whole act, props, music, costumes included. Attention 6th and 7th graders, are you willing to take on the responsibility of leading our campus forward? Do you want to represent the students in your grade level? Do you exhibit the core values of respect, integrity, excellence, and service? If so, apply to become a student ambassador for the 2018-2019 school year. Applications are available in the front office or the counseling office and are due by four on Friday, May 18th, so be sure to pick up one today. Are you looking to take the next step in your faith journey? The club crew will help you explore that. Come to crew and Coach Swanson's room today at D103 after school at 345. There will be food, friends, and fun. See you there. Wow, can you believe that the school year is almost coming to an end? It feels like yesterday we were get, just getting new to our new schedules. Speaking, spe that wasn't the only thing that was new this year. Right, there were a handful of new teachers that weren't here last year. Well, since Coach Newsom left, Coach Coleman had to be the new PE coordinator, but that's all I really know about him. Well, let's take it to Brighton to learn a little bit more about what Coach Coleman does. Coach Coleman is new to Nelson this school year, and many of you may not know him, but he's been coaching for 10 years. Let's find out how and why he became a coach. Well, I moved to Nelson because I wanted to further my career, and so when it, the job open came up, I applied to take over the coordinator job. Um, so it just was a great opportunity, and, and I only live five minutes away, so it was uh, kind of a perfect situation. Coach Coleman doesn't just love coaching. He has many other activities he likes to do as well. Um, I love to go camping. Um, it's something we, the family does a lot. We like to go out on the weekends and go like Ray Roberts and, um, and just spend some time out in nature and, and really kind of get away and relax. Um, love to golf and, and uh, really kind of do anything outdoors as much as possible. He has many reasons for coaching, but the main one is seeing how his students have grown and progressed. You know, it's, it's rewarding to see them later on come back and, and tell you all the success stories they've had um, and really just some of the stuff that you've taught them and, and, um, and just seeing how much they grow from year to year, especially when they go to high school. That's probably the most fun part of coaching is just seeing how successful they are uh, when they get to the high school level. And then game day is, is always exciting. It's always fun. Um, just being able to compete and, and watch the kids compete and, and be as successful as they can. And it's just really fun to be out there and, and see everything that you put into it, all the work you put in, really uh, come out and, and, and see the kids succeed and, uh, and just be, be able to use what you've learned in practice to, to accomplish a goal. Coaches aren't just people who yell at you and make you work out, but people who hope to make your future the best it can be. For NTV, I'm Brighton. See you in the hallways. That just goes to show how Coach Coleman takes care of business here at school. Speaking of business, the Garden Club takes care of the garden at our school. Yes, they help maintain the garden. And they decide what to plant. But I think there's a lot more to it than that. Let's see what else the Garden Club does at our school. Oh hey, didn't see you there. Today, I would like to tell you guys about the Gardening Club and what their year has been like so far. Um, a lot of the students here, you know, we live in a concrete jungle and you guys don't really get to see where your food comes from. You think it just comes from a grocery store. So it's about being able to see how food actually grows and how much work it goes into making your food and I think it makes you appreciate where it, where it comes from. We grow potatoes, tomatoes, peppers, basil, flowers, peas, sage, a lot. Um, I always let Garden Club have a taste, so I've been taking them home and my husband's a chef and he'll cook it up and bring it back. We've also been harvesting things along the way and giving it to teachers as gifts and just uh, 
with a nice note of appreciation? Um, it's a little difficult, but it's really fun to just be out here, water, um, play out here, just have fun. The kids are always pulling bugs off of the plants. It's like a battle between human and insect. We've got to water occasionally if it doesn't rain, but other than that, it's just letting the sun do its thing. I'm glad I got to teach you guys about how the gardening club has affected Nelson this year. Wow, I wonder how many different types of plants there are in the garden. There's probably a lot based on how well they take care of them. Speaking of a lot, you know how many Fortnite wins I have? Um, I have no idea, but why? Trivia. Well, let's check in with Avery to see if he has any better ones. While many trivias have an overall theme, this one's kind of special. Get ready to watch some head-to-head -head action over some random trivia. Now on to our contestants. Five. 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 Six. Five. Five. Nineteen eighty-two. I'm gonna go nineteen eighty-seven. Nineteen eighty-seven. Nineteen ninety-two. Nineteen eighty-three. Nineteen eighty-seven. Let's go with 2008, 2010, 2008, 2010, 2008, 2008, a royal flush, royal flush, royal flush, royal house, royal flush. A royal flush. Wow, those were some hard questions. Yeah, I only knew a few of them. Same here. Well, that's it for today's broadcast. But tune in for the next show. Don't forget to follow NTV for a behind the scenes look of our show. I'm Justin. And I'm Claire. Pursuing, Pursuing new heights, we are Nighthawk Nation. Nation.